Hello, my name is Steffi Bochert. I'm a senior lecturer at uh, the Solid Earth Geology Group here at the Department of Earth Sciences at Uppsala University. And my research deals with volcanoes because uh, volcanoes are not only beautiful and magnificent structures, but they are also dangerous. And to understand what is going on inside an active volcano, of which we can only, only receive surface signals like uh, earthquakes and eruptions, we have to go inside the volcano. And uh, to do this, I'm going to take you on a journey to show you the mechanics that make, uh, that drive a volcano from the inside. And uh, what a volcano basically consists of is a magma chamber at depth that is like a volume of molten rock in the crust. And then there is some transport channels that uh, lead magma to the surface to feed eruption. We have uh, a conduit, like a channel that is feeding big eruption at the summit of volcanoes. And we have the flanks of a volcano that um, are built up of eruptive products. The volcano, to study it from the inside, we have to um, use extinct and eroded volcanoes. And a good example of such an extinct and eroded volcano is located in Scotland. It's uh, the Ardnamurchan Volcanic Center that was active about 59 million years ago when the Atlantic was just opening. And already in the satellite image, we see these circular structures. And if I overlay this with the geological map, we can see all of these different colors uh, that form rings around the center of the peninsula. And what is a very conspicuous feature is, uh, are these um, green lines. And all of these green lines are transport channels of magma to the surface. They have a very specific uh, geometry and are therefore called inclined sheets because they are inclined towards a common center, that is the magma chamber and is not exposed at the surface today, but is somewhere at depth. So they form something like uh, an inverted cone or cocktail glass geometry. And we can use this geometry when we measure their trace at the surface and when we measure their orientation, and we can deduce the location of the magma chamber that fed them from depth. And this is what I have done in a, re a recent research pro project and uh, I have prepared a little video to illustrate this. So what we can see in this video is, first of all, we look at it from, uh, the, as from a map view and we see all of these white lines. These are the traces of the sheets. Then we uh, see at depth, uh, we see how they are projected and what is clearly visible is that they seem to, most of them seem to converge towards a common source. And this common source is the location of the magma chamber. And I've illustrated this as this uh, purple ellipsoid. And what you can see here is that the magma chamber that was feeding this volcano was kind of uh, a big volume with between 1.5 and 3.5 kilometers below today's surface and was considerably big uh, and long-lived. So what can we learn from research uh, that looks inside volcanoes? First of all, we can deduce something about uh, the location, size and shape of magma chambers at depth that we cannot access. Um, this helps us to translate signals that are uh, produced by this magma chamber and the whole plumbing system and that could be recorded at the surface of active volcanoes. So we understand a bit better what is driving the volcano from inside. From a hazard point of view, this will help us to uh, decide whether uh, a volcano that gets nervous or uh, has an unrest period before an eruption is likely to erupt or not. So this is why we look inside volcanoes. <laughs> 